morning everyone we have quite the cloudy yet still warm day today all the kitties are here and doing well this morning there's Marty stripes gone around I think to the front yard to do his walkabout and there's Tux man and doing the morning aphid check these two trees continue to be okay and I resprayed this one last night and he's looking fine better but I gotta you know I gotta stay on it you bet your bottom dollar next spring I'll be looking earlier and paying attention better before it gets as bad as it got on this tree hi stripe hi good morning hi there pretty boy how are you good boy here's your food Good boy. Good morning. We've got quite a few ferns coming in around the gnome home. Hmm. <laughs> Stripe just plunged into the creek over there. Going a little crazy. And the flowers continue to open. The rain is really supposed to be here tomorrow with a high wind threat. We'll see if that pans out. Hopefully not. Good morning. Hi. Hi, good girl. What you smell? Panther? You smell panther? Yeah. This is my overnight print and um, the one on the right I obviously scaled up. Let's see if it uh, works as good as the smaller version. Pretty darn cool if you ask me. I have them standing on the tree support from the one bunny rabbit I printed so you could see the color. And Don said they made really nifty trees if someone figured out a way to prop them open and then maybe an insert for on top. You know, you could print them in Christmas green with some red or whatever on there. But anyway, they came out great and upscaling it worked fine. It's a planned test of the sirens. Duke actually sent a text message with the reminder today, but Wednesdays at 10, once a month is pretty typical. Sharon Harris nuclear power plant sirens. There's one right across the way over there by Right Meow, the edge of the park, but the one I heard came more from this direction. Yeah, I'm in Ruby today and uh, Don wasn't able to come. He has his go live on the test system today and he had, you know, warned me that it wasn't likely he could make it today. And then sure enough, there was something that needed his attention first thing when he logged on this morning. So, I feel for him. I've got uh, just enough time to get in a walk, go home, get another coffee drink, and uh, head to pick up Sam. I told him I'd be over there between 11.30 and noon, so I am on, on schedule. We have a little light rain moving into the area, and um, hopefully it'll stay light while I'm walking. I can get my walk in. I'm feeling it on a couple drops on my face. I sent another star to the printer. I upscaled it. Not the whole plate, but, you know, 75% of the plate, 80% of the plate. Then I'll have a trio of varying rainbow colors and um, sizes. I'll need to figure out, uh, thinking they make some styrofoam cone-shaped, um, you know, craft styrofoam that might do good for underneath there. Be a little wider base, a little less wobbly. If I happen to get in a Michael's craft store sometime or look online and find what I need and ask Michelle to pick it up for me because that's with her kids in high school, they're frequenting Michael's pretty often. Well, this is my second time around on the Pogo Loop. I uh, stopped and did a local shadow Pokemon raid and 
I'm getting wet enough now that I'm noticing it and probably gonna have to change out of my shirt <laughs> when I get home. Oh well. Well, hopefully there's nothing wrong at the church. Maybe they were inspecting the fire hydrant. They were parked right next to it. As you can see, the road's wet. I'm wet. Ruby's wet. <laughs> No concerns about severe weather today, though. That's tomorrow. I'm just going to get a coffee and change and um, head right back out. It's a couple minutes till 11. It's about 30 minutes over there, and I told him I'd be there between 11.30 and 12. He's used to me running late, despite every attempt to not be late, so... It's all good and I'm not going to be late today. <laughs> oh that gives you a feel for um, how big it is. Found this on the ground at the park this morning. It fits in a drill and I guess it's a socket driver. Something. Anyway. Well this is the first time with one lane closed <laughs> having to move right. They are working on redoing this intersection as part of the new Target slash Gold Leaf shopping center going over here on the right. And I guess at least they are working on road improvements before they get going full force on the actual shopping center. So, so over the weekend they had the turnpike. Um, I was going to say, Ruby, don't dive into that lane. They had the road closed up here Friday night late until Monday morning early. I don't know if they... Oh wow, Ruby moved over to give that guy the ability to come back into the lane. I did not do that. Okay, and now she's going to take me back over. Um, I think that was mostly good that she got out of his way. He never did get back over in the lane. He... Um, went down to the next turn in and turned well i wasn't filming and ruby tried to turn me into the um used car lot down there the turn lane for no reason yes yes ruby so so i'm starting to tell you that the turnpike was closed for the weekend so i'm expecting some major changes up here in traffic routing or lanes opened up or something up here on the surface street where they've been working so hard to put in the on and off ramps. We'll see. Now I see a big crane up here. I wonder if they're putting up some of the overhead signage. Having to lift it into place, maybe. Remember, Ruby's still on version 11. Choosing lanes for faster route. Okay. Yep, some signs have gone up. And they've done some additional paving. She's trying to break here. Yeah, yeah, I'm applying slight force to the steering wheel. You just need, yeah, she thought there was, yeah, she saw the, the stoplight up there that's not working yet. And that's what she was um, concerned about. She's probably going to break again here, too. She sees them. She marked them as blue. The whole light was marked as blue. But she did not break that time. And I'm still seeing all of the construction cones because I'm on version 11. I must say that I'm used to that. You know, Tesla sort of trained us to be used to that and I'm not a fan of them going away. As one person said on Facebook or Twitter X, how am I going to know that the car sees these things if the car is not telling me it's seeing them? And I basically agree with that philosophy. It would be fine if you slowed up a bit here, Ruby. I knocked her down five mile an hour. Now, 
that was always I'm gonna get over. It was always 45 through here. Wow. The 7-Eleven going in on the right. New stoplight because we need one so close to the other one for these people to get out of this new community. Yeah. Now it was going back up to 55 right here and I noticed that there's no 55 sign so I'm going to get back up to 50 before somebody is super mad and runs me over. Well it was perfectly, whoops, nope Ruby you cannot do that. Thank you. So you know when I was um, when I was taking Johnny back and forth and I've got her back in autopilot, I clicked it so fast it didn't make the jingle correct. Um, when I was driving Johnny back and forth to school in downtown Raleigh still, Ruby and Jules were both diving into turn lanes that they weren't supposed to. Well, it's going in May it'll be a year <clears throat> and she's still diving into some turn lanes. she doesn't do that one I mean I'm mostly happy with the drive this morning I'm just commenting there's been two dives into turn lanes that forced me to take over um, but again that was happening on V11 so oh this stretch of the road right here just past the guardrail and um, this road here know what the oh it's a turnaround lane okay just past here but before this next blue sign is where I was pulled over with Ruby with the flat tire all right we're awesome. here at Hibachi and Company Sam said that um, they were particularly hungry today so Sam and I are splitting a lemon blueberry slice of cheesecake I've had just a small amount from the knife I cut it with and it's pretty darn good out here at the Walmart Garden Center where I like everything I see but don't want to spend what the prices are and that's some cute little kids playing and not uh, a bird or a squirrel or a duck <laughs> so I got the solar powered things I came in for and I found a couple of Teslas an S and a Y these are flowers, butterfly, and there's a hummingbird down there too. I bought one at the Sanford Walmart and decided I really, really liked it and needed more. <laughs> of course, we had to stop and look at the squishmallows. They have tux. And we, they have a tux, and tux likes lemonade. It's so cute. <laughs> We're not getting it, but for all you watermelon fans out there, and this one is called Wanda. Hi, Wanda. And now for the super important time of the day. Cat time. <laughs> Cat time. <laughs> uh, and rooster time in the back. Yeah, and rooster time. It's always rooster time. It's okay. Hi, Stripe. Oh, wow. Sam's getting to say hello to Morris. Wow. That's Morris. You'll get plenty of attention too, Tux. We're here. We're gonna take a quick pass through Thriftronics. This is gonna be perfect for um, storing the Easter stuff. It has a little crack, but that's fine with a piece of tape over it. Sam has found a shirt, and I got some boxes and a Corel plate, and that's all I found for today. Well, being the lead at this light doesn't mean what it used to mean anymore because you used to be by the time you hit the uh, overpass there, which is a train bridge, you could be doing 55, but not anymore. Dang, all those good fun times taking off at this light. Right, Sam? Yeah. <laughs> I know you remember. Speed demon. I know you remember. Poor Sam, I just, <laughs> I just put my foot in it. When I listen to Pitbull, I drive at least 10 mile an hour faster than when I listen to my audible book. Every at single time. At the very least. Every single time. It puts me in a good mood. <laughs> well, there's the uh, biggest star yet. Still going strong. And I'm looking up. I've got plenty of filament. Unfortunately, it looks like it's going to finish in green-yellow. That wouldn't have been my first pick. 
I realize the light's a little bright out here, but I had to chase off several possums or raccoons in order to uh, get over here. They were finishing up the cat food for the day. You can see the flower, the hummer, the butterfly. Hi, Marty. <laughs> Everybody's out here tonight because it's so warm. Marty will probably come back inside with me when I go in. My star's done. I'm going to take it off the printer. Well, there it is. It's kind of neat what the uh, rainbow color did to it because this is kind of blue on the bottom, yellow on the top. But this thing lets me turn it the other way. And so if I do that, then it's kind of yellow on top, orange on the bottom. Um, and then if I go in there, it's, you know, it just, it's really neat color. The rainbow is pretty. It's just, it's pretty.